Welcome to Azure Stack in 5 minutes series. Today we will talk about what is Azure Stack, why is it compelling for enterprises, talk about different personas, different portals Azure Stack offers, some of the concepts like plans, offers, subscriptions, and Azure Resource Manager. Azure Stack is an integrated system of hardware and software. It is available through hardware vendors like HP, Dell, Lenovo. It comes in 4 to 12 nodes for a multi-node production deployment. Organizations can deliver Azure Cloud services from their data center. Azure Stack Development Kit, which is a single node, single server architecture, is also available for evaluation and learning purposes. So why is Azure Stack so compelling? For organizations planning to migrate or create new applications for cloud, Azure Stack serves as an intermediary platform, a stepping stone in developing in iterations in validating the, for the security, for scalability and privacy before deploying or moving to the public cloud. Azure Stack infrastructure lives within the organization's data center with nothing shared with public cloud. So this enables, this makes it easier to take care of security and privacy, especially during the migration phases. Azure Stack provides rich set of tools, platforms, and concerns which are similar to public Microsoft Azure Cloud. This enables developers, IT architects, IT administrators to use the same set of tools for both the private on-premise cloud and the public Microsoft Azure Cloud. This is very powerful because you write code once and have the ability to deploy to on-premise or public cloud without changing any line of code. Azure Stack provides the flexibility for developers at the same time, having a comfortable IT governance and policies with a tiered architecture for migrating and deploying applications to cloud. With self-service portal, programmatic access, and centralized control, organizations can encourage a more mature DevOps culture within their teams. So there are lots of concepts when it comes to Microsoft Azure, and the same concepts are also applicable for Azure Stack. We are going to go through very quickly of some of the important concepts. Let's start with how the users interact with Azure Stack. At a very high level, there are two types of users or user personas. The cloud operator or the data center administrator who runs the Azure Stack infrastructure and the end users, the tenant end users who consume the services provided to, through Azure Stack. Both of these type of users are secured provided access in a secured way by integrating with Azure Active Directory or on-premise Active Directory Federation services. Typical admin or the cloud operator scenarios includes configuring the services that they want to offer, creating different types of plans, offers, set quotas, and manage marketplace items, a gallery of catalog items, and also manage tenant subscriptions. The end user scenarios include subscribing to various plans and offers, consuming the resources, provisioning, deploying, and managing the resources such as virtual machines, storage, network databases. So what are plans, offers, and subscriptions? In any multi-tenant environment, a group of services are offered in certain regions, and those group of services can be combined to create a plan and set quotas for those services in each plan. And these plans can be combined to create an offer to which the end user, the tenants can subscribe to. With Microsoft Azure Stack, you get consistent set of tools and concepts similar to the public Microsoft Azure. Azure Resource Manager comprises of command line tools, integrated Visual Studio tools and portal. And you can also do programmatic access through the Azure Resource Manager APIs. Various resources and services are provided by respective resource provider, such as compute, storage, network, are SQL database resource providers. These resources can be grouped under what is called as resource groups. Resource groups enable grouping the resources and controlling the access control as a group of resources. Azure Resource Manager also makes it easier to deploy and store configuration information in what is called as ARM templates. Thank you for listening to the Azure Stack in 5 minutes series. Today we saw what is Azure Stack? Why is it so compelling? Different types of users and the portals, the admin portal, the tenant portal. We also saw some of the concepts such as plans, offer subscriptions, and Azure Resource Manager concepts like resource groups, resource providers, and access control. Stay tuned for more deep dive in each of these concepts and demos 
to come soon. Thank you.